Hello everyone and welcome to an unboxing of Warhammer 40k Kill Team Hivestorm aka the brand new edition of Kill Team. Uh, I've been interested in getting into Kill Team just because it's kind of on par with Warcry, kind of same size scale. You don't need a full 40k army to play it or anything like that. So I was looking at getting into it. This is the brand new starter box. It is real chunky. Let me just flip it over for you here. Give you a glimpse at what is inside. And originally I was just going to pick up the new edition rule book and some the cards and tokens you need. But they've actually made this box a pretty good deal. If you get it from a third party gaming store, you're looking to pay roughly, if they do the full 20% discount, £116. Whereas if you wanted to buy just like the new edition of the rulebook on its own, it's 30 something. You're getting two full warbands, or kill teams, uh, sorry if I use Warcry parlance, um, which are worth like 40 each. You're getting the approved cards with missions and, and the ops you use, which separately cost like 30. You're getting all the tokens and dice and they're charging out the wazoo for that. And the equipment pack, which they're charging out the wazoo for. So I guess they're really encouraging you to get this box because if you try to just get the necessities you need to play, like if you're not interested in the kill teams, you're actually paying more. So I don't know how, uh, if this is going to be around for long, this box, but it's a good deal if you're looking to get into kill team, even if you're not super thrilled with the two warbands inside. Kill teams, I did it again. So we're going to look at what's inside this gigantic box today. And I'm looking forward to giving it a go because some of my old 40k armies that I have just sitting in a display shelf to my left here actually are good substitutes for kill teams. So it won't take too long in theory, barring how much scenery I decide to paint, to get it on the channel at least in terms of like doing like a viewer verdict or anything like that. So let's crack it open. There we go, it is out of there. And to start with, no protection on the sprue. That's rare, I usually have like a sheet of paper across it or something, but no, it wasn't in the lid I checked. We have sprue as far as the eye can see. So we have our Vespid Sting Wings on the right here, which is one, two sprues worth, I think. And we don't really need to pay much attention to this brew because you know it's going to be fine. It would be exceptionally rare if it wasn't. Yeah, this is all their wings and optional masks and such. So that's one kill team right there. And then these three sprues, I think, yep, are the, I forgot the name of the Imperial Guards. Let me see, I have to flip it around. The Tempestus Aquilons, Aquilons. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce that. And then we have all the scenery as well. So it comes with enough to play a full game. There's elevated terrain, there's covered terrain, and, and also the optional equipment set terrain, which is for like stuff you put down during battle. So really nice quality, very thick. Going to be a pain to paint for those of us who despise scenery, but hey, that's what the two-tone zenithal method exists for. Some more scenery here. Uh, are any of these duplicates? No, they're different. Yeah, I think every bit of the scenery sprue is actually different. Yep, so every bit of train, even if they're roughly the same in kind of like a two by two with a, maybe one platform, they're still a, a slightly different looking. Well, actually, I think this, this train looks the same, actually. You've got that as well. It's very neat looking. This is the sprue you would get in the optional equipment stuff. This is, again, one of the things you can buy separately, so that's what you're getting. Measurement sticks for the bizarrely used games like circle, square, triangle movement. I have no idea why they don't just use inches. It boggles the mind. That was apparently a second edition thing that they've stuck with, I guess. Barricades, ladders, fences, smokes, etc. And one last bit of sprue. That's a very chunky bit of scenery terrain right there. But yeah, very, very high quality as you would come to expect. Very, very detailed and very neat. After that mountain of sprue, is this a giant envelope? Oh, it is. It is a giant envelope. This has got to be the game board in here, judging by this. We'll look at that in a second because I'll need to clear the box and stuff out of the way. But that feels like the game board. It's played 30 by 22 inches, same as Warcry. And then we have a box. Oh, this is, geez, this is heavy. <laughs> a box of, crack it open. Ah, the rule book and such. So the rule book you can buy separately, to be fair, is a hardback. The one you get in this is soft, paperback, that's what they're called. But 
you know, you don't really need a hardback and it's certainly not one that they're charging 35 quid for. So, again, you're getting the, the row book, roughly the same size as the Warcry one as well. Put that to one side because I'm going to have a read of that later. Then we have the Hivestorm dossier, which is obviously unique to this box because it's specifically about the content of this box. Uh, let's see what we've got in here. It covers both the factions, although there is a free app they've done that lets you cover every kill team currently available for the game that's uh, usable. But Lore, rules, oh and test battles. Oh yeah, there we go, some battles specific to the two sides with specific setups for the train you get in the box as well, so that's pretty neat. What else remains in here? Assembly instructions by the look. Yep. Oh, and there's how the train would look if you were competent at painting terrain. Next. One sheet of tokens. Nope, sorry, two, two sheets of tokens. There we go, that makes more sense. I was like, that's not a lot of tokens to play the game with. But no. More. Still not many, and I mean, you do get, if you don't want to use the plastic measuring sticks, you get normal ones right there as well. And then we have the, oh these are large cards, approved ops card pack, this is another thing that you can buy separately but it's going to cost you I think 25 and that's from a third party source, if you want the 20% discount to get just this by itself, so again it makes this box more viable. It gives you mission leaflets, approved ops game sequence cards, scouting step cards, 12 tech ops, Crit Ops, Kill Op, Primary Op, Map Key Cards, and two Mission Leaflets. You'll need a copy of the Kill Team Core Book to use the content of this pack. So I'm not going to look at each of those individually, but hefty amount of cards and they're good size too. Is that it for in here? Oh, let me just... Yep, nicely packed actually. That's a pretty neat little file in itself to keep all that together. But there is obviously more here, so let's just see. I think it's just the bases though. On the left side here, nope, that's not bases, is it? What is this? Kill Team White Dice, printed in China. Thanks. So that's just box standard white dice, huh? Let me, I want to see them. Yeah, that is about as stereotypical dice as you could possibly get. Good grief. They're tiny as well. They're so small. Why are they so small? <laughs> well, okay. If you want tiny exceptionally boring looking dice you get some of them thrown in for free they're not thematic there is some thematic dice sets available but they didn't bother putting one in here there's all the bases so that is bases for all the models that it comes with i believe it's like two sides of roughly 12 miniatures each so that probably checks out uh, the bigger bases for the turret i think and then a smaller one for the drone that the vespa would get all right let's have a look at the game board so here is the board i'm not sure if i'll be able to show it all because of the pile of sprue I have next to me. We can sort of fit it in. The cardboard is a little thin. I will say it does feel quite thin, surprisingly. There's a look at it. And speaking of, there is a look at the detail on one side. Very nice and I'm, I love that it's anti-glare as well, clearly. Um, actually, let me put on a second studio light to test how anti-glare it is. That's still pretty okay, actually. Usually this corner gets like utterly reflective. It's bright, obviously, but that's not bad. And then the other side of the board, whoop. it's a lot more gravel is what it is. Very detailed again. Kind of, it's a shame that both sides kind of have the same color palette. Let's turn this off again, just because it is a little bright. There we go. Is it, yeah, it's a bit of a shame that both sides have essentially the same color palette. I think it's to match the scenery it comes with but at least the look of each side is different and obviously you can use your own mats if you have any appropriately sized as well but that is it for everything you get in the Hive Storm box and there you have it, everything back in the box except the rule book which I'm going to read through and the approved card pack but it all went back in neatly my only complaint is not having some kind of protective sheet or thin bit of cardboard beneath the box lid to stop the sprue pressing right up against it. There is a bit of leeway, like you can press down on that and you're not immediately hitting the sprue, but it would have been nice just to have a bit of extra protection. If you have a bunch of these piled up, I wouldn't want the one on the very bottom, let's put it that way. But as I say, it probably won't be too long before you see Kill Team on the channel, just at least as a test uh, battle report. I have some appropriately sized mats, so it's not too big of a problem. I have some terrain that I can use already as well so it's not even a case of having to work up the energy to do the terrain that's in the box although it does look like it's pretty cool looking. Um, 
and I've got some old 40k miniatures that can be used in Kill Team, which is nice. So we'll see. Um, it shouldn't be too long, as I say, but the end of the year, before the end of the year. Hope to see you soon. Let me know if you're interested, obviously, if you're excited to see Kill Team on the channel. If you want something similar, look at Warcry in the meantime, play that every so often. But either way, if you're interested in what's in the box and my opinion on it, you now have it. If you're outside of the UK, you could also check out my channel sponsor. They carry Games Workshop stuff. You just you can't buy uh, Games Workshop stuff from anywhere other than the UK if you're in the UK because they just have a monopoly on themselves. But hey, if you're outside of the UK, check out my channel sponsor via the link in the description box. If you buy anything via that link, I get compensated as well. So you support the channel and get something for yourself. And I, th I presume they'll have Hive Storm, at least while stocks last. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time. Ta-ta for now.